Hey there, and welcome back. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Real McCoy's 1957 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Kathleen Nolan played the character Kate McCoy. She was 24 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Pretty young and she's a very attractive woman. Here she is, at a cool 91, chilling in St. Louis, Missouri, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Being as a parent, well, I'll pick you up tomorrow afternoon about four. Mrs. Archer, uh, I, I ain't never been... Richard Crenna played the character Luke McCoy in the TV series when he was 31 years old in 1957. Oh, what strong hands! Well, well, sort of fair to Midland. Sadly, on January 17, 2003, he left us due to pancreatic cancer at the age of 77 in Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. And they're kind of outdoors and, and uh, not permissive, but, but certainly much more liberal uh, lifestyle. <laughs> Michael Winkleman played the character Little Luke. He was 11 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Well, Grandpa! I'm going to learn you the McCoy Mule Punch. The McCoy Mule Punch? What about Keith? What about? It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on July 27, 1999, he left us after coronary heart disease at 53 in Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. Walter Brennan played the character Grandpa Amos McCoy in the TV series when he was 63 years old in 1957. Question. I have accepted the invitation of another gentleman. You didn't do that. I most certainly did. It's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that on September 21st, 1974, he left us after emphysema at 80 in Oxnard, California. We're really filling the loss. Mr. Michener, uh, are you well known as a singer? <laughs> yeah. Lydia Reed played the character Hassie in the TV series when she was 13 years old in 1957. She had to go to the dentist. Well, maybe they were all telling the truth. The truth? Charlie said that his father had a lot of bundles and he had to stay home and open the door. Check it out. Here she is, at 80 years old. She's rocking a fulfilling life and jam-packed with passions right here in Mitchell-filled New York. Tony Martinez played the character Peppino. He was 37 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. All you McCoys up there, even though they say I am not a McCoy, I am, almost. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on September 16, 2002, he left us after natural causes at 82 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're really feeling the loss. Oh, don't worry, Senora Kate. I will pass the test with flying colors. Red, white, and blue. Andy Clyde played the character George McMichael. He was 65 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Hey, you might as well live next to somebody you like. You know, George, if they wish to bottle up your thoughtfulness, it'd be just like a tonic for the whole human race. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on May 18, 1967, he left us after natural causes at 75 in Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. John Lormer played the character Sam Watkins in the TV series when he was 51 years old in 1957. 
March 19, 1986 was a tough one. He left us due to natural causes at 80 years old in Burbank, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. William Waterman played the character Mac McGuinness in the TV series when he was 43 years old in 1957. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make it into sandwiches for you to take with you when you go fishing tomorrow. Oh, that's fine. And if we're attacked by grizzlies, we'll have something to poison them with. <laughs> February 2nd, 1995 was a tough one. He left us due to bone marrow disease at 81 years old in Burlingame, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Madge Blake played the character Flora McMichael. She was 58 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Yes, I'll run along now. I... Amos, I'd like to congratulate you and Miss Spangler. It's with the heavy hearts that I've got to tell you that on February 19, 1969, she left us after cardiac arrest at 70 in Pasadena, California. We're really feeling the loss. Stanley Farrar played the character Dr. Sloan in the TV series when he was 47 years old in 1957. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on April 5, 1974, he left us after a heart attack at 64 in Mendocino, California. We're really filling the loss. 